Hello and welcome to Avorian. My name is Banch. I was not expecting to hit record right now because I'm just going around and fetching all these uh, secret stashes uh, from the sector uh, that I was in in the last video. Except that secret stash just delivered something to me uh, that I did not expect at all. That was a complete shock, which is why I was not prepared to record. Uh, why I've very hurriedly and all of a sudden tried to quickly turn on recording and get going. Um, that secret stash just delivered me Ivorian building knowledge. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> I didn't think about a secret stash. Use immediately. Use immediately. Done. I, uh, I, uh, uh, I don't believe it. I did not think that could happen. Um... Yeah, so there we go. Welcome back to Avorian, everybody. Bit of a surprise. Um, <laughs> it's sudden introduction. Uh, was not, yeah, like, I was not anticipating to be recording. I was just going to pick up these things and see what we got and, uh, and then maybe start recording once I've done, done a little bit more exploration around here. Uh, because I have, nothing's changed since the last, ep the end of the last episode is literally uh, where I've just started there. So I've just jumped in the brigand here while I uh, run around and grab these things. Um, you know, before somebody else does. Um, and there we go, there we go, you're all caught up, you're all caught up, absolutely nothing else has happened. <laughs> I've done nothing else, nothing else has happened, it's all fine. Um, so what I need to do today is, I've got this, the, the new salvaging ship, the Vagabond, uh, is ready to be set up today. Um, I know some of you are requesting actually seeing that set up, but to be honest, most of it is just me umming and ahhing and looking through um, DPS per slot weapons and trying to figure out the best configuration for it. It's... Um, I gotta, I gotta say, it's, it's a little bit boring because <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not like commentary. It's mostly me going, oh, that one's slightly better than that one, but that one's got more slots. Um, but that one is anti-shield and this one's anti-hull. Hmm. Maybe I should put that. No, I shouldn't put that one there. No, maybe. Uh, you, you get the idea. You get the idea. You know. <laughs> so, um, I am, I am probably going to cut that and show you the result of all that mumbling and bumbling and stuff rather than actually taking you through it because uh you know i respect your time <laughs> i respect your time and your sanity um perhaps a little bit more than my own anyway uh so we're going to set up the scavenger ship today ready to go and uh, be operational and stuff like that after that i think you know we need to well, I want to kind of carry on exploring things like this uh, shipyard here. I might go around and just add little notes on like that so that I know there's a shipyard there among all these dots that the guys have explored. Most of them are kind of like Zotan, 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 which is which is what we expected, really. But every now and again, there's one with a shipyard or one with an outpost. This one, for example, is a resistance outpost. Um, there is another one that I spotted somewhere where there's a resistance outpost that is a turret factory. There you go, over there, look. That resistance outpost is a turret factory. That's why I put the little turret symbol on it. Uh, unfortunately, at the time there, it had absolutely nothing particularly special there at all. Uh, I think the best thing there was a, was a 300 DPS single slot plasma cannon, which is very nice. It's very nice. Oh, God, here we go. What we got here, then? Auto turret system. Building knowledge. <laughs> I think we've just got, we got a warrior build knowledge again. <laughs> and an unbound reconstruction token. Um, there we go. Wow. Uh, long range dual stinger. These secret stashes, guys. These secret stashes. I tell you. I mean, there were like five here in this system. It's incredible. Uh, I'm surprised, given how late I am to the center of the galaxy compared to everybody else on the on, on, on the server, that they're they're even here. And nobody else has been to this sector ever. Because there's a there's an asteroid I've claimed here as well, and I can't see it right now. It's around here somewhere. Um, so honest, <laughs> there is somewhere. I don't know where it is right now. Uh, there is a claimed asteroid. Oh, it's right in front of me. Look, it's just behind all my other ships. There is a claimed asteroid here as well. So <laughs> I really lucked out on this sector. Where's the other ones? Anyway, where is the vagabond? That's the miscreant. That's war spite. That's the vagabond. Okay, so there we go. Um, you're all caught up. That was random, but we have achieved Avorian build knowledge. I, 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 I yeah. <laughs> you get it. Look at that. Fifteen slots we can do now. We've hit. We've hit it. We, this is this is that's it. 
It's brilliant. Right. I'm going to set up the Vagabond Savage ship. I'll be right back. Well, just look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three of the damn bastards now. Yeah, they look pretty, uh, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. The, the old brigand and the, uh, Maleficent just, uh, still in their <laughs> Corvette skins. In fairness, I could scale these up and make them into, uh, 15 slot monster Corvettes. But I like them being all little and maneuverable and sprightly and whatnot. Anyway, the Vagabond is ready. She is ready to go. Um, pretty, pretty armed to the teeth with a firepower of 13.53k Omicrons. Um, a little bit less than the Warspite, Spite, which is rightly so because she is a salvaging ship. As you can see, I've put on three fine salvages, one of which is Organite. Uh, the other two are Zanian. That's all I've got at the moment. Um, so, you know, they'll have to do. Uh, but she has got 1.21 million shields, which is, again... Well, it's about 2 million less than the uh, Miscreant over there with its 3 million shields. I'm not quite sure how it got that so high, but there we go. Uh, Firepower-wise, or armaments-wise, I should say, I suppose, um, you know, a couple of Jewel Scorchers, decent ones. Uh, 600 DPS a slot on that one, for example. It's a Neonite one. It's crazy, I got that from free research. Um, a a, a two-slot Chink Gatling gun with 436 DPS a slot. A couple of fine, devastating rail guns. Uh, with uh, lightning cannons, because that combo seems to work quite well on the war spite there, with some hull-destroying uh, bolters, some point defense, and some plasmas on there as well for, for getting rid of shields. So a good array of, of shield and hull-busting armaments, all-rounder kind of thing. A couple of uh, nice lasers on the bottom here as well, with, with plasma uh, properties as well, and then antimatter uh, bolters and miniguns on the bottom there. And everything else is point defense, anti-fighters, and stuff like that. Uh, which means it's filled up quite nicely. And there's one slot left for an unarmed turret, which I can't quite fill because every unarmed turret I have is the two slots or above. So uh, it's got a, a spare unarmed slot, uh, which is fine because if I find another Organite salvage laser that's perhaps one more slot, like a two slot, for example, then I can replace um, one of these Zanian ones with that. Although this one is a four slot monster, so you know, I might be able to get slots back. And there we go. That's pretty much it. The only thing that she's missing at the moment is any kind of fighters. Um, I want to get some salvage fighters in there. And what I might do actually just quickly while I'm right next to the war spite is transfer over. First of all, let's make a, let's make a couple of squadrons. Transfer over a couple of the basic fighters here so they can get manufacturing on those. Um, yes, I'll talk about that in a second. We get yeah, the shield smashes over and hull smashes over. And we'll get him manufacturing those. Um, because I do think I've got some pilots on board. Yeah, I've got 12 pilots, so we're going to have one, one squadron. Uh, so let's sacrifice that and that. And um, the Disruptors. Bustors. Bustors. <laughs> disruptors are Bustors. <laughs> We'll get manufacturing those things, so eventually they'll have, uh, at least they'll have some uh, defensive fighters that you can use, even if he doesn't have any salvaging fighters yet. Now, if I find a fighter factory nearby, I mean, I could all go all the way back over here. I think there's one right there, in fact. I might just note that with a little fighter icon there. I think there's a, a turret factory there as well, actually. Um, hey, Zarim. Um, yeah, I might be able to go all the way back there. But I want to take a little... Because I am so very close right now. I am so very close. That is the center of the galaxy right there. I want to have a little trip with the guys through unknown space here. Come what may. <laughs> this probably be our undoing or something. But, uh, you know, I think it's uh, we'll have a little go. Um, the only other thing is... You don't have a reconstruction token, Vagabond. But I have unbound reconstruction tokens, don't I? Uh, so, I oh, simply want to use. Can be activated by the player. Use. Well, not use, but yeah. removed. Dropped her. Wait, what? Ah, crap. <laughs> I don't know why I just used. Fidget. Um. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, boys. Uh, I don't know why I just did, but we're apparently attacking the fidget. Everything's fine. Uh, 
Cool. Haha, <laughs> your common weapons don't phase me. You'll need something better to short circuit. What? Wait, what? Where'd he go? What? What? <laughs> oh, there he is. What? Hey. Whoa. Oh my god, he is all over the shop. Is there even even a way to ow? Uh wow. Common weapons don't phase me. You'll need something to short circuit my jump engine. Uh isn't that what I just did? Try fire again. Use. Still needs 24 minutes to crack fidget ship. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't even realize what I was getting myself into there. I did not mean to fire this off. Um, yeah, between me and the fighters, I, I... somebody's firing torpedoes. I think that'll be the war spite. <laughs> Everybody's just like, right, hang on then. Uh, orders to tackle enemies. Buccaneer is under attack. Oh dear, that's not good. That's not really not good. That's my trade ship. What are you doing there? Oh my god. Three ships of the kingdom there as well, though. Oh, he's in a. Oh, he's in a safe sector. He'll be fine. Okay. Um. Right, I've got all ships attacking him, and hopefully he'll take damage. I guess. <laughs> what is this fight? I didn't mean to start this. This was an accident. Oh my lord. I mean, we're doing damage to him. It's going to be eventually. Pioneer's under attack now. Oh my god. But you guys just deal with it. Seriously. Look, you're fine. Stop bothering me. Busy. He is an Avorian ship, though. Look how red it is. If I can kill this guy, eventually, I can salvage him and get a crap load of Avorian, plus maybe some juicy bits. This thing is nuts. <laughs> is, he, is this even a thing? <laughs> anyway, sorry, it's got tracking fast enough. We just like positioned my ships like just along where he's warping backwards and forwards. Every now and again, one of them can shoot him. <laughs> oh my god, it's in me. I'm really worried at this point because it's like, okay, obviously this isn't working. If I use this again, he's not going to call another one, is it? Because this can be used to interrupt the hyperspace jump of a fidget. Of oh, fidget. Sixteen minutes to track. Oh my god. I mean, he's all over the shop. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because he said he's. You need something to short out my jump engine. Well, the only thing I have to do that is is the thing that I literally just accidentally used. I um. That's it. Doesn't really explain it very much because I used that and he arrived and then he's still jumping around like a crazy thing. And at the moment, my shields are going to go down because he keeps launching rockets at me. Okay, so this fight is ridiculous. Um, I had to look it up because I got so fed up with it because it's just ridiculous. So according to the wiki, uh, the fidget will do this. This is what he's supposed to do. This is the fight. Uh, apparently, he will warp to a random destination in the sector uh, every hit he takes. So what I've done is I've moved myself out of harm's way because he doesn't have a huge amount of range on his weapons. I've positioned my other two ships along this sort of corridor that he seems to be warping back and forwards. Managed to pin him down. He just seems to be going back and forward and back and forwards there. Now I've positioned uh, Miscreant and the Vagabond along that so that he gets shot, which means he goes over there and then he comes back over here. Meanwhile, I've parked myself there, as you can see, and i have just using my railguns. Seems as they are, they do the most single shot damage. 
assuming they connect at all, of course. Um, I'm guessing they are, but they don't seem to be popping any numbers up, which is weird. Uh, I seem to have lost some turrets somehow. <laughs> I don't even know how. Um, I have taken some damage because I was tr trying to chase him, which seems to be the stupid thing to do. Um, don't try and chase him. He's got these nasty rockets that will actually do quite a lot of damage. Um, just stay out of his range like this. And that seems to work reasonably well, but it is just a ridiculous slog. There is no other way. Using that interrupter again would probably call another fidget in, and then that would make this uh, an impossible fight. I'd have two of them dipping around. That would be ridiculous. Um, so for the time being, yeah, just use your hard-hitting, insta-hit weapons, railguns. Um, Devastators might be a little bit trickier. The cannons have a travel time, obviously. Um... I've got my two Corvettes repairing me at the moment because I, I took too much damage. Stupidly. Oh, you're going to be kidding me? Okay. Uh, Zotan invasion has just started. Oh, Jesus. Not good. Not good. I'm trying to do a boss fight here, and Zotan have come along and decided to be dicks about it. They're attacking my asteroid. <laughs> hey! Get out of my asteroid! It's not even, like, anything to it. It's just a claimed asteroid. What are you doing? You nut about us. Eat off! Yeah, I gotta re um, re auto fire these guys. Turn them off. Here we go. Attack my asteroid, dicks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Friendly fire turrets. Damn. Boy. Come on, boys. One of my ships, the shields are down. I think that might be the Vagabond. Not so sure. Go on, fighters. Go on. Go on that. Go on that. Give me that. Twitch out. Lord, look at them all. Oh, I hate these bloody fidgety things. I tell ya. Look how you sit still like a normal ship. Your ship Brigand has been destroyed. Ah, oh, man! Brigand, no! There's a miscreant. Uh, Corvette, Miss Maleficent, come, uh, escort me, come near me, where I can keep you safe, build another bloody ship, I think I head all the way back to my repair dock now, got it, it's chaos around here isn't it, there's just crap everywhere, I don't even know where the fidget's gone, oh yeah, there it is, <laughs> fidgeting about, Finally! Son of a bitch is down. There's still so many Zotanian bastards around. Look at them all. Not to mention Fidgety, Fidgety, Fidgety base. The lag is, uh, is bad. <laughs> um, that is, that is a lot of Zotan. <laughs> is that just me? It just seems like a lot to me. Seems like a real lot of Zotan all focusing on my, um... Torm defeated. Hey, knob off, you lot. Come on, get out of here. Piss off. All of you. <laughs> Please? <laughs> Please? Oh, no. There's a bunch left over. At least half of them have gone, I don't know. My asteroid's still alive. 
Oh yeah. Fine. The big chunk of rock. What are they gonna do? Yeah, it looks like a, it was a, it was an invasion, but also just a bunch of Zotan showed up for no good reason. Oh my lord! Right. Oh brigand! The brigand died. There we go. Zotan leading wealth finished. Oof. Ow, that made me more. And Miscreant just like headbutted that guy. <laughs> okay. Wow. The the carnage around here is ridiculous. Um I don't know what to do. I don't, I, I want to get this guy down, he's nearly down, I guess. I, I don't know. Oh, I'm in range of his missiles again. Get yeah, out of range. Railguns have got much more than six kilometer range. Jesus, look at the state of this place. There are exotics and blues and prices, what else, everywhere. I want to go and get them, but uh, I got to get this guy down first. Honestly, it's like watching a tennis match, this thing, I tell you. Back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> yeah, the point defense on the on the vagabond and the point defense on the miscreant over there. And this poor freighter caught in the middle, <laughs> just keep getting knocked about. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Some more strange subspace signals. Come on, we've got to get them down just before the uh, Zotan arrive again. Got an absolute fraction of health left. Small group of Zotan ships. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, God. Wonderful. Get off me, fidget. He's dead. He's dead. I didn't see him die. Over there. Over there. <laughs> Fucking Zotan. You scum. You just interrupted a glorious moment. You. Oh, do you know how that makes me so mad? That makes me so mad. I wanted to see this. What are these freaking rocks doing? Uh, so I wanted to see this son of a bitch burn. I wanted to see him die. But nay, the freaking Zotan rock up and go, oh no, look at us. Look at us. Look at us for a second. Oh yeah, look at us. Ooh, we're so pretty. Prime double igniter. Okay. What else? Um, an enduring quadra artillery cannon. And a recycling P700, which looks like a purifying mining laser. Oh, that is so not worth it. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, that was pain. That was pain. Ladies and gentlemen, that was pain. That was absolute pain and suffering. That, just, that fight was just awful. Absolute. I do not recommend it. Fidget. What the frick is with these rocks, man? I thought it was fine until you moved. What are the hell of the freaking asteroids have got a mine of their own? What is going on? You. Salvage sector. Ugh. I'm depressed now. <laughs> I don't want to anymore. It's just. Ugh. <laughs> oh, that was awful. <laughs> I don't think you understand how bad that was. Um, hey, uh, Vagabond, do you want to maybe start salvaging here? Yeah? Um, like I told you to? Maybe just a little bit? I don't know. Possibly. A little bit of salvage, maybe? Salvage 
sector. Salvage that thing. I want it. I earned it. <sighs> Meanwhile, while you do that, I will take what's left of my freaking Corvette fleet. Bless the poor, the poor brigand man. He died for nothing. Nothing. Honestly. Ugh. I'd say he'd be revenged. Avenged. But honestly, I don't know at this point. <laughs> that was just so bad. Um, well, there we go, ladies and gents. My suffering is uh, to save you uh, the pain. Do not even think about bothering with the fidget. I know that we've all got about a dozen of those bloody hyperspace interrupters from various freaking loot. You know, when a purple drops and you get all excited and stuff like that. And, you, and then it goes, oh, it's a hyperspace interrupter for the fidget. And you're like, what the hell is that? Don't bother. Delete them. Sell them. Destroy them. Put them in a bin. Chuck them into the void of space and forget they ever existed because that is the single worst boss fight in the history of boss fights. And I challenge you in the comments section to tell me otherwise. Please do. Avorian devs. Please fix. Do something. Delete it. Get rid of it. Destroy it. Save us from that humiliation of a boss fight. Honestly, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Anyway, rant over. I got some picking up to do. There we go. The fidget is... There was a complete accident that I even summoned it because I didn't want to. I didn't know what that hyper space interrupter was about. I thought it was for a mission that I was going to pick up at some point. There we go. Just bloody use it and you get the worst boss fight in the history of boss fights. Congratulations, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for playing. This is the sort of thing that I've been waiting for. <laughs> 700 DPS a slot, 3 slot laser, 2100 DPS overall, uh, continuous 225, yeah 22 seconds basically firing, um, that doesn't have tracking shots, that's useless, 413 DPS 5 slot cannon, 320 DPS 2 slots, 145 DPS 3 slots, that's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you give me that for? An <laughs> uh, attractive beam upgrade. Okay. Um, there's also this exotic here, the precise quadruplasma gun. 275 domi uh, damage uh, DPS one slot. Eh, fine. Okay. It's not bad. Um, there is a purifying miner, a Vorian. That's pretty nice. Organite uh, point defense, pulsing recycler. I think that's a salvage. A salvage laser? Recycler, I would assume so. Uh, Zanian, a repairer. Uh, rapid pulse 316 dps one slot a three slot 1382 dps per slot plasma cannon Ooh, that is rather tasty um yeah that's pretty nice <laughs> you know, just say 1382 dps per slot ouchies 220 percent damage to shields oh yeah Yep, 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 yep. That's Neonite. What is, what is Neonite stuff doing here? <laughs> 300 DPS single slot st uh, uh, Gatling gun and a couple of other uh, uh, point fence there. Along with a bunch of uh, modules and whatnot. Um, lots of blue stuff. What I would be interested in, do we pick up any salvaging lasers? There's a miner there I see flashing away. I'm not seeing any salvages. Other than that one recycler we've got, which I think was... What was that actually? It was a purifying recycler. That's Zanian. So, yeah, not not particularly useful. Can't can't dig up a Vorian with Zanian at the moment. Uh, the vagabond is salvaging what's left of the fidget ship, but it is taking a long time because you're getting a one salvaging laser that seems to work, which is the organite one on the front of the ship there. So it is working. It's just. Uh, taking a really long time <laughs> as you can see so any any salvaging lasers would be useful um i can search by material actually and then anything that sticks out as a salvaging laser even if it's a white at this point would be useful uh except i'm not seeing anything unfortunately not in the organite range that's a shame mining <laughs> Mining, but that's it. 
Never mind. Okay, well there you go. That's that's pretty much the loot that we got. Everything um, beyond that is sort of neonite and titanium and zanian and la 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 la. la. Um, but yeah, that that was a very nice. Let me just mouse over all of this so it disappears off the top, and we can actually order by material. There we go. Purifying miner, um, which is going to be useful for getting that Avorian, at least until we get an Avorian R miner. Although there is an R Organite miner here, uh, which can pick up Avorian as well, of course, but it'll be a, a bit slow. And um, that laser. Okay, that laser and that plasma cannon. They need to go to a turret factory uh, very, very quickly. I've lost that freaking plasma cannon. I don't even know where, where it's gone now. 700 DPS uh, slot, 3 slot laser. Um, I think the one I've got on my ship actually is like 800 DPS a slot, but it's 6 slots. Yeah, swings and roundabouts. Um, and when I find that plasma cannon again, that one, the bursting quadra soul. Continuous shots 14, time until depleted 1 second. Recharge time 2.6 seconds. Oh, hold on. That's a lie. That gun is a lie. Think about it. It can fire for one second. Well, continuous shots 14. Uh, rate of fire is 13.2 in one second. Well, I mean, it's pretty rapid fire, but then it's going to take 2.6 seconds to recharge. So its DPS needs to be divided by, well, basically another three seconds. Because there are three seconds it's not shooting because it's cooling down. Oh, well, that's a bitter disappointment. I thought we had something beautiful there, but uh, it's actually kind of garbo. It's going to go bleh. Oh, got to recharge a second. Bleh. Oh, no. Got to recharge a second. Bleh. Oh, no. Got to recharge a second. It's, uh, I don't know. That's really deceptive, that is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's really annoying. You're like, wow, I got an amazing gun. Oh, it only fires for a second. Um, and then it's depleted. In that second, it's probably going to do about the same amount of DPS as, a, as an average looking freaking plasma cannon. Probably going to do about the same DPS as this guy here, which fires continuously for 16 seconds. A 257. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Uh, it's never straightforward. It's never good news. But I mean, there's a couple of good things here. That's an, that's an okay laser. That is an okay laser. Let's jump into the war spy a second because your six slot laser does 838 DPS a slot. It's just, it consumes six slots. Oof, I gotta do some repairs. Holy crap. Missing blocks only. There we go. You're back together. Lovely. Um, you're also missing some weapons, it would seem. Uh, I'll get to you in a second. And there we well there we go I suppose um, I'm still kind of pissed off with the fidget really <laughs> it's just a terrible fight and has given me pretty much nothing to as a reward pretty much okay well I've picked up all the bits and bobs around um, the brigand interestingly I was looking at the reconstruction tokens um, because I wanted to reconstruct it here and here, and then I believe the reconstruction tokens can be used to reconstruct something here. Except Rapscallion, Miscreant, Ruffian, Scoundrel, Buccaneer, Warspite, Maleficent, Pioneer, Cavalier. No Brigand. Doesn't have a reconstruction token. Which means that I need to go find a repair dock, the nearest one that I know of. Being back here, it would seem. So it's not too far away. A couple of jumps, maybe three jumps away. Uh, and rebuild the brigand. And then get him a reconstruction token so I can rebuild him at the site he was destroyed so I don't have to go all the way back again. Uh, whew, okay. Oh, in one day, I mean, at one point in this episode, I will actually leave this sector and we will head towards further and more towards the center, but uh, everything just seems to be getting in the way at the moment. So there we go. Okay. That's uh, so repairs. Go get the brigand repaired, refitted again, and then come back here. And by then, the vagabond may have finished refitting uh, the fidget. <laughs> uh, salvaging the fidget, sorry. Oh dear. Brigand! 
Make it, make it better. Make it good. Oh god. Not all turrets could be restored because they weren't in your inventory. Ah, man, did I put some of them on... Ah, uh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I may have put some of them that were on the brigand, maybe on, on the war spite. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I just got to thread the needle between these uh, asteroids here. No big deal. All good. Okay, now we can switch over. Right. Um... You've seen better days, haven't you, mate? Alright, you're not looking too bad, though. Turret-wise, you've still got your boomers. Okay, you're missing, like, one turret. Is that what you're complaining about? You're missing one turret. Ah, oh, you're missing a turret, yeah! <laughs> Get over it, come on. Okay, so... It's missing a turret. Fine. Uh, I need to find a one-slot turret. In here somewhere. Uh, how about this Avorian one? 261 DPS quality dual chain gun mm -mm -mm. it's delicious um organize two slots we're going down in dps here so everything else above that i think is more than one slot though. that's the problem with, from that thing which is a plasma cannon but i think you are a oh plasma cannon oh perfect oh perfect where was it was it that one three yeah neonite plasma cannon there you go one slotter Bingo. You're fine. Firepower of 5.7 to Omicrons. It's sad, isn't it? <laughs> it's not just... Aww. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> um, uh, maybe that was a, a, a 9 on the auto. There we go. Okay, fully restored, I suppose. Brigand. Um, 239,000 HP in the shields. Oof, these things are very squishy now, aren't they? <laughs> this is very squishy. It's very squishy. I need to make them better. Hmm. I could scale her up. I could definitely scale her up. The only problem is there's no... Um, this is my explorer ship. It's got the explorer captain in it. There is no equipment dock here. So if I scale her up, I can't remove any of these permanently installed modules. I have to just add new ones. And he's got 10 arm slots, 10 arbitrary, and then two combat turret things, and it's still only that many turrets on it. Ah, oh, well, okay. Um, refitting maybe overdue for the brigand? Or maybe what we do is we do find it a repair, uh, an equipment dock, and we upgrade it to a destroyer. Because after all, oh, I can't afford it again. I've got now enough trinium. That's about one million trinium for a destroyer, you see. So the thing is, I'm trying to save up my trinium for a certain other vessel that is now ready. Because I didn't do chilling and building this week, because uh, it was the waifu's birthday, uh, I have now actually finished my carrier. My all new shiny carrier is ready to go. She's here. She's finished. She's painted. She's built. She is ready for action at 3,500 blocks, the exact limit of the server. <laughs> there isn't a room for error on this thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's ready to go. She's ready to spawn it at 2.5 million zanian and 747,000 trinium, 15 slot ship, 38 million. Uh, yeah, there we go. So... At 4.34 million, 309 million credits, and a million 300 trinium. Yeah, I could spawn that in now. <laughs> the brigand could become my um, flagship. The explorer captain. Yeah. But we don't want to do that just yet. <laughs> Why not? Well, um, I mean, it's a fair point. Why not? It would break me. It would absolutely break me. Uh, the, the, the general rule of thumb with this game, I think, is to, to, to not all invest all of your uh, hard-earned cash in, and stuff into a single ship. It would be you want to fly ships that you can easily afford to replace. The thing is, I could jump into the Victory class, uh, just uh, the, the Victory class battle carrier there, and um, you know, I might then fly down here. Where my boys are 
and get it destroyed do you know <laughs> mind you um the reconstruction cost is twenty five thousand, so it's not too bad i mean you know yeah uh let's go up to this equipment dock here then there is equipment dock and a shipyard here uh so we can definitely refit whatever we need to up there i'm just like while while i have phalanx corvettes running around still maybe i should invest more in the destroyers than switching out one destroyer to my battle carrier you see to upgrade this to uh, the war spite variant uh which is the upgraded variant of the fury 12 slots that's half a million trinium Mm, I need more tritium. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, 700,000 tritium, which is crazy. Considering, um, I think this thing is just more armor and so much bigger than the Fury. I, I don't quite understand how that costs, you know, a billion tritium and that doesn't. Anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this thing is pretty much the mainstay of the fleet right now. So, I mean, if I'm going to upgrade it to anything, it's going to be this. 11 million, 500,000 Tridium, 500,000 Zanian, 12 slots, apply the zone, another destroyer. I just, it's sad though, because do you know what? I really like the freaking Corvettes. They're so speedy and nippy and they just get around so easily. Um, but uh, these things are just so much more durable. 1.37 million before uh, anything. Actually, that's a lie. I think it's got modules in it already. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Including two shield modules, so 159%, 147,000, 1.37 million HP uh, on the shield, 700,000 hull points, two extra slots to play with. Uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, this is going to be an interesting build because the long range stuff doesn't quite. I don't, I don't really have it. I don't really have the long range stuff. Uh, you know, the big boomer cannons, 400. That's a five slotter. <laughs> <My> God. <laughs> um, well, it's not going to have as many guns as uh, the war spite, I think, but hopefully it's going to have uh, equal or, or maybe better firepower. I don't know. Well, uh, we'll give it a go anyway. We've got these amazing prime organite lasers um, that I do want to. Oh, I want to put it into a turret factory and make more of them. Three slot lasers, though. 700 dps a slot i did the one on the war spike which is a six slot laser with uh 800 dps a slot but then you know i'm gonna probably only put two of them on the entire ship uh and then oh, i don't know <laughs> this this is what it's like when I'm, I'm configuring a ship full of weapons by the way and why i cut it out of the videos because it's just uh, 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 i don't know oh god uh what do i do <laughs> this is it this is what happens um, so anyway, there we go. I'm going to try and figure this out as best I can. Yeah. We need lots of lasers. We need lots of boom booms and uh, lightning guns and, and stuff. I should be able to get the EPS up pretty good with all this stuff. Anyway, let's have a look see what I can do. I've got to say, I'm, I'm, um, I'm quite happy with how the new Brigand has turned out. Yeah. Um, it has a firepower profile bigger than any of my previous vessels so you know the brigand has got itself a serious upgrade <laughs> oh yeah um with a firepower rating of 21.59 armor grants uh it's pretty decent it's pretty decent i have kitted it out 100 100 combat uh it's a 13 slot now although the uh, the blueprint was uh, a 12 slot blueprint a the addition of extra shield generators uh, to bring it up to 2.22 million um, shield capacity. Let's take you through the gun setup here. We have got a prime double igniter, 700 DPS a slot, three slot laser on the front uh, with a lovely little turret design. Very nice. Looks awesome. Looks even better when it fires. Uh, we've got um, a 975 DPS a slot, three slot death ray, 5,000 exceptional Zanian turret there. Best Zanian turret I have managed to get so far just from the random loot that seems to be dropping from the skies in these sectors uh that is very nice indeed uh 975 dps a slot only three slots 1.5 uh turret size i am extremely tempted to go and take that to a turret factory i tell you 
And then there's a fierce dual laser as a single slot, 541 DPS. This uh, laser, that's quite nice as well because it's just one slot, 500 DPS. However, 900 is a five slot, uh, DPS per slot on that one. A bursting dual bolter with antimatter damage, 200% damage to hull, very nice. Um, a couple of Ogonite, uh chain guns, three slot, uh, chain gun, 540 DPS a slot, 370 DPS a slot on that one. Two chain guns uh, for constant fire. Lightning cannons, 300 DPS, 300 DPS, 3, 265 DPS. Lightning cannons, again, something I'm struggling to get bigger, better versions of at the moment. Uh, and then we've got plasma cannons, plasma cannons, plasma cannons, plasma cannons. Varying from 300 DPS and 200 DPS to 400 DPS and 700 DPS. <laughs> and uh, in the center of all that is an Enduring Quadra Artillery Cannon with 400 DPS a slot. Uh, it's a five slot beast. Um, but that has got a lovely 23 kilometer range on it and a whopping 5,900 damage a hit. Problem is, is it's an artillery cannon, not a railgun. So it's prone to missing a bit. Uh, accuracy is 98.6 in fairness so hopefully the auto turrets will do that justice but hopefully uh, like I said I'm holding out for a railgun that is just impressive um, down the bottom here we've got a couple more lasers around about the 5600 DPS or also on auto fire and a couple more chain guns as well uh, my first Avorian weapon being mounted there at 206 DPS uh, and that one at 241 DPS per slot uh, other than that there's just some point defense dotted around you can see and that's basically it that is the firepower um the uh brigand sorry at 21.59 k omicrons of firepower now um the generator is running at 483 gigawatts of power here now now as with all my fury class uh destroyers you have a smorgasbord of frameworks to play with so i'm going to now that we've got 15 slots um, uh, available, of course, I'm going to get a few more generators here and here just to give me a little bit more boost on power. Then I'm having more shield generators. <laughs> I'm having more shield generators, baby. Oh, yes. Let's see if we can get this up to 3 million. Um, I've got to be careful, though. Of course, the more, more shield generators you, you dump into something, the more generators you need in order to run the damn things so 2.67 million 2.91 million cpu will have to do that is the ship pretty much maxed out aside from like you know scaling it up and stuff which is just um pointless because uh you know it will just consume more power and not generate any more power anyway so the diminishing returns and all that there we go okay so let's go and put some more crew in this thing because we're now crew again i need the shipyard because that's the one with the correct crew the uh equipment dock there has half of the ones i need but not all of them and there are just still so many blue glowies dotted around everywhere from the, the zotan and the pirates and everything coming in while i've been trying to build this thing uh, obviously the local defenses have been dealing with it but i've also got the war spite on escort me so anything that comes near me gets blown to smithereens by the war spike uh, and it's many many fighters so <laughs> it's quite cool uh okay mr shipyard hire the crew we need more engineers we need like another 10 of them buggers there we go and spanners double spanners we need like another 10 of those buggers here we go then the brigand set up um set up probably pretty flexibly actually it's got salvage lasers mining lasers and repair lasers uh thanks to that unarmed turret slot and uh like i said about 2.1 thousand ohms the decent layout the only thing to do is to give it a couple of fighter squadrons on the war spite although uh if i'm going to be taking this laser here to turret factory i might wait and make fighters out of it um, now the guys down here, the Vagabond, he's got 18 minutes left. The Rapscallion and stuff just got attacked, so they got to restart their mining scratch here. But they're fine. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the scoundrel? Where is it? 
Man, all due respect, I can't really. There are issues with the crew on the ship. Uh, <laughs> what? Um. Ah, uh, for crying out loud. <laughs> what? You've got no gunners. How have you managed that? 80% gunners. Oh my god. You need a station. I get you. You suck. You absolutely suck. But, you know. Whatever. I think you've got a longer range than the Raps Galleon anyway. Just go. Ah. It's only the day of a fleet commander, I tell you. Right, can you now, now that I've sorted you out, take those two, go mining, three hours, no iron, titanium, and neonite is required, need a delivery please, don't die. Happy? Good. Make it so. Numpties, I tell ya. Right, you're scrapping, you're mining, you're selling. I... I'm trying to decide whether this mining, this laser is not as good as the one that I found and put on uh, the brigand. So, turret factory. Where's the brigand, first of all? Down here. Brigand? You? You are labelled as a corvette, which is incorrect now. You are a destroyer. Congratulations. Enjoy the title. Um, turret factory. That's what I wanted. Lose your best turret so that we can make more of that best turret. Yes. I need to dock with you because I don't have a transporter module on this ship. As it's not a uh, mining ship or scavenger ship. It's your combat vessel. Transporter module is unnecessary, really, for the use of fighters. Oh my god, the drift is real. Come up. There you go. Dock there. It's the tractor beam. I tell you, I got you so used to not having to dock to stations with the tractor beam, you get really lazy with it. <laughs> We've got our frick off pirate. Son of a pirate. Right. Uh, I need to take the damn thing off, don't I? EPS per slot. Oh, yin yang. Um, yeah, there's nothing else up here. Look at that. Fricking. Salvage laser. <laughs> what? Pulsing recycler P7000. Exceptional. Zanian. DPS. Per slot. Four slots, right? 2369. <laughs> Seven block hull penetration. Range three. What the hell? <laughs> Recycle the entire ship at once. <laughs> Damn. That is one hell of a salvaging laser. It's a shame it's purifying, but at the same time, it's kind of like, who cares? With that amount of damage and the amount of wrecks around here, at 15% uh, efficiency. I, 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 it's wow. <laughs> wow. The only problem is it's Zanian. If it was Organite, I would be absolutely jumping for joy. But there we go. Anyway, uh, what I've got to do is uh, take off that laser there, which is shame. Prime double igniter. Beautiful. Wait, that's not the right one. That's the one, the death ray. That Prime Double Ignite is nice, three slots, but it's only 700 DPS per slot. That thing is 975 DPS per slot. A ship in your sector is calling for help. Well, there's plenty of other help around to help it. To help it. What am I? The Death Ray. 1.9 million. Don't look directly into it. Um, so 1.5 size, three slot turret with a range of 17 kilometers. <laughs> Shut your face. Convert. This turret can't be turned into a blueprint. Why not? I want more. Why Why not? Give me a reason. Don't just say no. Give me a reason. Why? Why? Can I fix the why? That's what I want to know. That sucks balls. What an absolute penis. Ah, ah, you get, you get one, you get a freaking turret, don't you? Everybody's like, Spanch, why didn't you take that turret to a blue, a turret factory? Why didn't you make a blueprint out of it and make more turrets? Great idea, guys, I'll do that once I find one I like. I really like this turret. 
Can I turn it into a blueprint? No! Why not? <laughs> what kind of bullshit reason are you going to give me for that? Chat, explain. Comments section now, please. Explain. What is this dickery? Please explain the cock munch going on here. I don't care for it. I don't. <sighs> this game is really starting to piss me off. <laughs> With stupid boss fights. Whiny ships that can't freaking go on mining missions because they're missing two gunners. And turrets that can't be turned into blueprints for no particular reason. Well, that does leave now the old Maleficent as the last surviving <laughs> phalanx corvette. Bless it. Still here in deep Avorian space in a ship with only a couple of hundred thousand shield. Whereas everything else is in the millions. <laughs> uh, let's get a little bit more Trinium uh, saved up. I think the Maleficent will also be joining the fleet of destroyers. We will have five destroyers here uh, in the Borean space. And soon I will have uh, a battle carrier among them as well. Uh, it is ready. I just need the resources to bring it in. Uh, and then we can experience a 15 slot ship. For now, though, <laughs> we're just picking on the Maleficent because it's, uh, it's the smallest in the fleet. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be all for today. A bit of a weird episode. I, I do apologize. Um, not much has been achieved, I'm afraid. We would never made it towards the center of the galaxy as I'd hoped we had. Because the day in the life of a fleet manager is a never-ending <laughs> tirade of problems. Firefighting. Uh, switching of various weapons, ships. No, I don't know. You, you get it. Basically, this entire episode summed up uh, is uh, what goes on behind the scenes most of the time. Um, and then very very little amount of time is actually spent doing anything else at this point in the game it seems anyway we shall have our fifth destroyer uh, very very soon and we shall have our battle carrier very very soon uh, but for now I will leave you with just that image and um, thank you very much for watching I do hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you next time until then take care bye bye